Good morning. We are in Goodwill. Kevin's trying to find a suit for the wedding. <laughs> that one looks a little cruise captain to me. Two cruise captains? <laughs> yeah, unless that's what you're going for. Kind of fits right too. That one fits much better. Yeah, definitely. Are you channeling, uh, what's his name? Who? Uh, your favorite guy right now? Larry David. Larry David? Yeah, basically. <laughs> this is actually the Goodwill where we found that Paul Macab table that's worth $3,000 and we bought it for $10. So let's see what kind of uh, treasure we can find today. This one's got anchor buttons on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Kevin just tried on a random tie just to see it with the tie and I'm really digging the two patterns here. <laughs> I feel like Charlie Day. I know. Bam, bam. <laughs> I like the colors, but it's too big. Right? But, yeah, it looks cool. I like it. I don't, it's a cool pattern. I don't think it's that big. <laughs> I need to wear a shirt <laughs> Wow, look at that. Do you like it or you hate it? It's crazy. We're picking out a tie right now. That is pretty funky. I like that. It's kind of cool, huh? I like it. You can get all spiffy. I'm just trying to think, like... We just dropped my dresses off at the dry cleaners and I was talking to the woman up front because we needed to get it done really fast. I'm like, is there any way we can pick it up tomorrow? And she said, you wouldn't believe how long people leave their stuff here. She has clothes that people leave for years. And I remember they talk about that in uh, American Hustle in the movie, people just leave their clothes indefinitely. And I was thinking, what kind of person cares enough about their clothes to get them dry cleaned but then never picks them up? It's so curious to me. It's boggling my mind. Also, Kev's got his look put together. Pretty good, this Kev. This is my, one of my options. I'm loving this blazer, though. I love that tie. Yeah, I like the tie in the blazer a lot. The tie's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, Tommy Hilfiger. Since we will be going out of town, Jeannie is going to feed the goats while we're gone, and Kevin's giving her detailed instructions on what to do. This is a very Jeannie, important... This is how you have to, Jeannie, this is how you have to like serenade them to, like, while they're eating. They like a show, too. <laughs> You have to do that or they won't eat. <laughs> Check out my new jacket I got today, Goodwill. J. Crew, perfect for the city, huh? It is pretty perfect. Thanks, I love it. Bam. You look classy as hell. You gonna wear it tomorrow night? When we're out in the city? I don't know, maybe. What? We're gonna this be out in the city. Like Goodwill, I have to let air out. We're gonna be in the city tomorrow night. We're celebrating pizza, National Pizza Day, a day late. That's it. Oh, Fig wants some. Kevin just informed me that Chicago was voted the best pizza town, best pizza city over New York this year. What do my Chicago and New York viewers think of that? I've never had pizza in Chicago. I've had a lot of pizza in New York. It's really good. But I've yet to try Chicago's. Maybe I, maybe I should now. Fig is really just... We're going to have to play some fetch with him in a second. I wonder where the best pizza I've had is. Mine would be Italy. Really? Yeah. You guys, I was looking at some really old videos on my other channel, and I saw how freaking long my hair was. I had it in a high ponytail, and it was still coming over my shoulder. Maybe that doesn't sound like an accomplishment, but it got me really excited, and I really want my hair to be that long again. But I tend to, when it starts to get long, want to cut it. I've had it really short. Remember I cut it, um, the first time I came to stay with Kevin in Reno, I cut it really short. But it was so long before that. 2013. 2013. So, 13, 14. It took three years to grow back. You've cut it since then. I've trimmed it. Yikes. So maybe I have further to go than I thought. <laughs> um, tomorrow we are headed to San Luis Obispo and I haven't packed yet. I don't even know if my dress for the wedding is gonna be ready in time. So I do not like doing things last minute and that's what this entire thing is gonna be for me. So I'm gonna to try to not get stressed tomorrow and just... It's gonna be a rough day for me tomorrow. Why, because I'm gonna be so stressed? <laughs> well, whatever, if my dresses aren't ready, it'll be an excuse for me to get a new dress. So I won't worry about it. And uh, yeah, it'll be a fun little road trip. We're staying in Pleasanton one night. Uh, so we're not going all the way through tomorrow. So we're gonna make a little trip out of it. 
But for now, we're going to head to sleep. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the whole world. We will see you tomorrow.